Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane, the only shopping channel in the UK completely dedicated to all things yarn, whether it be knitting or crocheting or animals or anything like that. But you, oh, you're going to love today. You are so going to love today. Let me... Uh, I, I, no, I'm going to show you the kits before and then I'll show you the website. I'm going to show you the kits first because you're just going to love these. These are all on pre-order on the website. As we bring them up and show them to you, they will appear on the other column. So if you want to get them, I'd come in straight away and get these. I'm going to start off with this little grey. This is Hannah's favourite of the whole day. Let, I'll put them down like flat like that. How beautiful is this? How just scrummy is that? That's beautiful. And uh, this one, do you want a code, Hannah? Oh, I haven't got I haven't got a code. I haven't got a code. It was on the bag. Um, let me tell you who made this one though while Hannah's looking for the things. Uh, Teresa Constantine made this for us, isn't it? Just I love this detailing here. The little squared off um underarms there. You've got the little buttons on the on the shoulder across there, like a Brett Breton shirt, Breton jumper. Lovely little neckline and ribbing there. And look at these sheep. They they're a different, they're like proper sheep sheep, look. All fluffy and gorgeous. All, they're fifteen ninety nine, right? So you can do this from a naught to two year old. Naught to two year old. It's just beautiful. Oh, hang on. What's the matter? Okay, hang on. Let's have. A, oh, look, that's lovely. That's the picture on the website. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So what you get in there is you get your instructions designed by iNit Designs. Danny, who's here today, iNit Designs. Um, beautiful, isn't it? So uh, you go, you get three different size ranges here. I'll just let it come in. Three to six month, six to twelve month, and twenty-two to twenty-four months. You've not got, you've got enough to make this jumper, and then there'll be some left over to make a little hat with. There's no hat pattern in there. Oh, there is. Where, where? Oh, there, there, there it is. There it is. How brilliant! So you can make both. You can make both in there. Beautiful, aren't they? So let's have a look what you get. So I'll show you, the, don't look at that yet. Right, so you get three balls of the grey, which is Style Craft Special Aran, 100% premium acrylic, and this one is called Silver. I get 100 grams in there, and then you get a baby little ball here of Dolly Mix, double knit. 25 grams in black, but then look at this, right? Look at this, you get that. But look what you make your sheep out of, look at this. It's called Cuddles Chunky, this one. Elliot's just going to come in and show you. There you go. Cuddles Chunky. Isn't that lovely? 100% polyester, 125 metres, 50 grams in there. That's to make your sheep with. Isn't that just... Oh, you, the thing is, that's very tactile. So you're going to love it. Anyway, I'll, I'll get on. Shut up, John. So thank you, Teresa Constantine, for making that one. I've got another sheep one here, Ooh. which is this beautiful colour. Stunning colour, that one. Look, little cardigan. Now, is that the same? Oh, no, there you go. I've got that. That goes there. Okay. There you go. Cardigan and hat pattern there. Okay, on the website, they haven't put this. They haven't, you will get this. You'll get this pattern. Baby sheep cardigan and hat. On the website, for some reason, they put a picture of the other jumper. But look, isn't that cute? You'll need some buttons for this. Isn't that lovely? Now, who's made this one? Maggie Priestley. Maggie Priestley knitted this for us. Isn't that cute? Love that colour. What do they call that colour? Raspberry. Raspberry. So, again, you get your two balls of your raspberry. Oh, now. Two balls of raspberry. Is that right? Two balls of raspberry. Oh, and a bigger, you get a bigger ball of the, the one there. And then you get your black. And a, oh, there's the little hat, look. Look. This is zero to 18 months, this one. That'll make, that'll make the biggest one for you. Up to the biggest one. That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. So that's that one for 13 99 Then I'm going to go on to this mammoth bundle here to make this. Look at this. Look at this. This makes a hat too, so look at that. This is four to 13-year-old. Unicorn! Unicorn, look, isn't it lovely? Look at those sleeves. Oh, now why do they remind me of something? I wonder if I had a jumper like that when I was little. Anyway, then look, 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 look at the hat. 
Oh, there you go, being worn in a crazy golf setting. Okay, that's beautiful. Now, in that one, you get all of these the same. These are the uh, Stylecraft Special. You get one of the yellow, which is called Saffron. You get two of the green, which is called Aspen. Oh, no, three of the green, sorry, three of the green. Then you get three of the pink, which is called Fondant. Oh, yeah, oh, I love that Fondant, French fancies. Then this one, purple. And then this one, Wisteria. So you get all of that, plus your instructions. £22.99, that one. £22.99, and that's ages 4 to 13 years. Beautiful. Right, and then I've got two more. There's enough there to make the large size and the hat. I was going to say, if you make the four-year-old, you'll have loads left over. Oh, and I haven't shown the back. The, look at the back. Hang on. There you go, look. I love that. That's just a real attention to detail, isn't it? Oh, Margaret Chapman. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't shout out your name. Margaret Chapman. Look at the description on the website. Oh, it has the chest sizes. Here you go. Where is it? Oh, in design details there. It has the wet chest size. But they're all, they'll be all on here anyway, won't they? Yeah, perfect. Now, two more. Two more. Then this one here, which is... Uh, Try, try what? Try Ceratops, this one. This is two to 12 year old. Two to 12 year old. Lovely, aren't they beautiful? And in this one, you get four balls of the silver and two balls of the Cornish blue. Beautiful colour, isn't it? So you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six balls in total, plus your pattern. £17.99. And, and that's, oh, look, same model. Beautiful. Lovely. Then, last one, last one. Then I promise we'll chat and um, do some knitting. This one is called the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now this, oh, did I say you knitted that last one? Oh, you knitted this one. Then he knitted this one. Then he knitted this one, right? And the next one... Oh, hang on, it's, it's the wrong wrong. Hannah, it was the wrong one. What's it called? Velociraptor. For, 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 she can say it in a minute. <laughs> Velocity something. Yeah, and now Karen Hatton, she I knitted this one first. This is Tyrannosaurus Rex. No, that's Oh, I'm confused now. <laughs> this is a Velociraptor. Right, what's that one there then? Try, we were right with that one. That was a try what's it. Oh, this isn't a tr that looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex to me, though. It's a little, oh, it's a baby one, apparently. Apparently, if you watched it, the, what film was it? Jurassic Park, never seen it. They're the fast ones. I've never seen it. And you get the little hat to go with. Oh, look at the hat. Oh, look, it's got little ear flaps on it. Uh, so that's beautiful. So who made this one, does I say? Karen Hatton made this one. Now, in this one, you get one, two, three, four, five balls of the navy, which they call Midnight and one ball of the aster, which is the blue. The sheep are going crazy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the website now where you can go and buy these. You don't have to ring up. You can go to the website, www.yarnlane.com. There's the website. You click on Watch the Show Live. And now everything, everything's been run through now, so everything will be on today's show deals, right? So there they all are. That's the sweater, the, 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 the one that they're really, really loving. That the, um... Okay, now look at that one there. Just explain that one. That one's the pink cardigan. For some reason, they've put the wrong picture with that one. That's the pink cardi, but I'll keep reminding you on that one. And then there's the grey jumper down at the bottom there. Uh, where's the unicorn? Oh, there's the unicorn. So one's missing, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, one's still at the top there. One's still at the top there. Anyway, you click on it, add it to your basket. I make sure, right now, Hannah will play through during the show all of the needles and everything like that that we'll need to talk about. Okay, there is colour changing in the, in the uh, unicorn, well, in all of them. So um, these are back in stock, the fish. Now, if you're watching yesterday, you will have heard me saying I had them yesterday. These are yarn bobbins. Every time we get them in, they sell out. Uh, Hannah's mum's got these. 
at £1.99. Hi, John. So desperate to make that baby sheep sweater. I might make it for my sister's neighbours who I don't even know, but they've got a baby. Oh, Nicola. So desperate to make it. Have you bought it, though? Please be careful because it's flying out. It's absolutely flying out. OK, I don't think it would fit you, Hannah, somehow. Right. Sorry I've done so much talking. There will be knitting now. Because we've not met before, have we? No, no. How no. are you? Thank you for coming. I'm fine, are you? Yes. These are gorgeous. These Thank are you. absolutely so <laughs> aren't some of these yours as yes, well? These uh, that yes. the cushions behind you are yours yes, as well, aren't they? So been that's on what, once before. Been on once to do the, the cushions, cushions, everything. Yeah. And I know how popular these were because Hannah yeah. bought which one did you buy for your mum, Hannah? I can't remember. Oh, the sheep on the green. So Hannah, the producer Hannah had already bought that one. <laughs> um, first of all, just explain to me who is you you are I knit. I am I Knit Designs, yes. Right, okay. And how did it all come about? How long have you been knitting? Oh, gosh. I've been knitting for many, many years. I um, had a knitting machine uh, when my children were younger and I produced garments for them uh -huh. and actually taught machine knitting. Oh, I was only talking about machine, machine right. knitters yesterday. Yeah. Saying, I wonder if we're ever going to do those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I haven't got one now. I gave mine away to, oh, okay. a, to a lovely designer who's at Nottingham University. So right. she's making use of them Aww. at the moment. Um, so for, for many years, I ran my own IT training company okay. for over 20 years. So it didn't have an awful lot of time to, no. <laughs> to be creative no. and... Uh, probably not the energy either but um, I've scaled that down a bit now right and started iNet designs which has gone bigger than I ever imagined oh but it's isn't it fantastic amazing. when your passion becomes mm. your and I think yeah. this shows that when people are passionate about something there's so much love gone into each design and everything it's not yeah. like you haven't gone in going oh I'll be a knitwear designer and just churn them out you've actually it's your passion you love doing it and it that's what it shows so have, much yeah so what else do you do apart from cushions and children do you do all sorts all, of knitting? all sorts of things yes and my head's full of ideas I can't <laughs> I can't get get the designs done quick enough really it, it seems as if all this pent up passion and it's all come bursting out just now coming out, yeah. uh, before we start knitting hannah's got a couple of things she needs to say okay if there are any problems ordering please call the team the number's down there it's a different number to sewing street but they're only around the corner they're waiting for your call 0800 4700 600 is your phone number completely free Okay, over half of these have gone already. Over half of these have gone already. The cardigan and a third of the stock of those has gone already. Yeah, on the website, it's really confusing. The image is saying you've got to look for the word cardigan for that. Right, okay. So, which one are we going to start with? Because are they, uh, who, what, what sort of, um, are we starting beginner, ad, um, uh, advanced? What kind of knitter are we talking? If you can do a knit stitch and a purl stitch, you can do these. Perfect. Oh, so, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. I think a lot of people get a bit worried because they look complicated. Yes, no, they do, yeah. But I'm going to uh, show you a few uh, few, few chip, Fantastic. Like, tricks Fantastic. So which one are we going to start with then? The cardigan. So we're going, we're going to, to do the, uh, the pink cardigan. Right. Which is an amazing seller for me. It's downloaded so many times, yeah. this pattern. Um, we've we've done it in the pink. Right. Oh, now I've done, I need to say. I, I, normally, you just do downloads, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Yeah. So this is this the only place people can get a proper yeah. solid? Because I think yes. some people prefer. You know what I mean? It's kind yeah. of. I like to have a piece of paper in front yeah. of me and everything. Yeah. But yeah. so th we have that. We've had print. Well, they have been printed up for you specially. So this is not a download. It's an actual pattern that you get. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. So um, th this little cardigan, this little pink cardigan. Um, I would knit the back first. Right. It's very plain. It's got garter stitch uh, edgings, ribbing. Right. So ev everybody can manage that. Okay. Um, then I knit two sleeves together. Right. On the same needle. With right. Two balls of wool, because I hate going back to knit a second sleeve. When oh, I'm okay. So one. so you actually so if it says cast on twenty stitches for one sleeve, you cast on twenty. Yeah. Stop. And then to cast on another 20. 20. So your needles have two sleeves yeah. building at the same time. Exactly. But they're on different balls of wool. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, th this is just me because... No, 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 it's interesting. No, no, I love <laughs> it because I know nothing about knitting and crochet and things. So it's all a huge learning yeah. curve for me. Yeah. So, but I suppose they, they're, they're not going to be much bigger than that, no, are no. they? And even for the bigger ones, I will do it because I just hate knitting a long sleeve. Yes. 
and then having to, to knit, do the whole thing so again. So if I do it all at the same time, it, it's done. <laughs> and and, the, and normal size knitting needles, can you fit those on, or do you, would you use a circular um, one? I, I've got these. Oh, okay, so you, that, when you do I, the longer ones. Yes, yeah. that I normally knit with. Perfect. Um, yeah, and that's ample. Lovely. Plenty long enough. Okay, so you knit, knitted the back, you've knitted both the sleeves, sleeves. at the same time. Yeah. So I've just started off here one of the sides, the right. front sides. And as you can see, I have knitted two legs. Right. So I do use yarn bobbins. Um, because it's a thick yarn, this is, well, this is a double knitting yarn. Um, <coughs> if I was to wind a small amount of wool, it, it would run away with me right, and get yeah. tangled. So with the bobbins, this this helps. So they're the fish shaped ones that we've got here today. Yeah, I haven't got fish no. ones, but yeah. So I'm going to cut that off because I've finished the two legs. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Not going to cut so the legs. So what are off. they? They just uh, the stick. Have you just cast on and oh, you just uh, yeah, knitted yeah. in. So you follow the chart. Yeah. And uh, come up to where it says to start the the legs. Yeah. I just show you that. Here we go. And I take my black yarn, knit one stitch, yeah. and then knit two in pink. And I've carried it behind the yarn this right. time and knitted a black stitch. Right. And then carried on with the pink. So that's what the legs are just one stitch each, then, yes, aren't they? Yes, that's okay. right. And then back on the pearl row. Yes, yeah. So let me get to where I need to start the white, because this is the exciting bit. I'm going to cut that off. Oops. Oh. So now this is this fluffy, uh, hang on, what's it called? This cuddles, could you just knit with it like, like normal? Because it's, it's sort of, it's got a kind of strand and then like loops on it. Yes, it's, uh, it's brilliant for sheep because uh, it doesn't show corners. It's yeah. a nice fluffy, fluffy sheep. It's beautiful as well. And I imagine the children love just t touching it because it's ta very tactile, yes, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yes. So I've got to the point in the chart. I don't count stitches. I, I, I've counted it for the first row only to get the, the legs yep. in the right place. But after that, I can see that my white is starting uh, to the right-hand side of the first leg. Right. So I've got a, uh, a bobbin already loaded. Oh, see, so you've actually got a, phys as well as writing, You've actually got a physical chart of yeah, what a sheep yes. looks like as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work from charts. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think with easy. this kind of thing, that would be brilliant. Yeah. So, um, yes, just join it in. Yeah. And, and knit as you do normally. It, it is thicker, but that's what the effect we want. Yeah. And the loops don't get caught in your needles then, obviously not. No, no, no. It's quite a sturdy yeah. yarn. It isn't loops, actually. I think it's just tufts. Oh, is it just tufts? tufts it's not loops. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So I've now done my first row with the white yarn. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take another bobbin of pink because I haven't carried the pink across the back. The back, right, OK. But it's still attached to the ball. Yes, yeah. I'm still going to use that. Right. But uh, when we come to the other side of the sheet, I've got a bobbin ready. And again, just attach it. Right. And knit with it. Oh, I see. So you're doing that because you didn't want a great big long pink bit going across the back. No. You didn't want to knit the pink in with no. the fluffy because you might see it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And uh, we don't want children or babies catching, catching fingers. Catching fingers, no. Right, so I've got to the end. So on, on the return, I can see that I've now got to do one extra white stitch uh -huh. on either side of the sheep. And that's how I do all my, my patterns. So you can see it's very easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no counting. And the stitches you're doing are just, are you knitting all the way across one and purling all the way back? Yeah, yeah. I'm just and even with the white, you're doing the same with the white? Yeah, it's all, all knit and purl. There's yeah. no special, special stitch. I'll just do one row so yeah, that you yeah. can see. So I've come to the last pink one, which is now going to be knitted in the white. Okay. We're down to single figures on both the grey sheep jumper and the pink sheep cardigan. So the trick now is to make sure that your new yarn that you're using uh -huh. 
traps the old yarn. Oh, and, okay, right. And then, then you don't get a hole. Perfect. And then carry on knitting. So, as I say, it is really easy. Yeah. It just knits up so beautifully, that fluffy. I mean, I love this colour, this raspberry colour anyway. Yes, but the, that, that fluffy wool yarn is just beautiful, isn't it? So I've done the extra white. Uh huh. And then we're ready to pick up the ball of wool. Right. So I have always have the ball um, and, and bobbins. Yes. Then. So on this one again, we want to make sure that we trap the white yarn and the pink yep. goes over it so that a hole isn't formed. Perfect. So, yeah. So okay, and then what happens when you start getting to the head? Because you're then going to have your white fluffy yeah. and your black and your pink. Okay, right. We've got, I'm going to do a short stubby, short sheep. Yeah. Short stubby <laughs> sheep. <laughs> so we pre we'll pretend we're doing the, bl the black. Yeah, now yeah, perfect. The, won't be quite the right shape, but you'll get the idea. Well, not everyone's perfect. <laughs> no, sheep is not every sheep is perfect, no. But it's fun watching it grow. Yeah, oh yeah, imagine. And they grow very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just get approximately in the middle. Right. So with the black bobbin that I cut off for the legs. Yeah. I'm now going to use to start to to do the head. And the same thing again, just add it in and knit with it. So I'm going to knit the one. Yeah. And then carry the white over it. Knit another black. Yeah. Oops, <laughs> that would be good. Would you normally be sitting down doing this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not often do I stunt in it. And then carry on with the white. So on occasions you do have to carry the yarn over. Yes. Like yeah. on this occasion. Yeah. But there's so few stitches, it doesn't really matter. No, no, it's not like you're carrying it along a whole row or anything, no, is it? No, not at all, no. And there we have it. Perfect. So uh, can I ask what size needle do you need for this? Um, this is double knitting, so it's four millimetres for the main yeah. and three and a quarter for the ribs. Perfect. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so that's the... Now, please be careful because the grey and the grey jumper and the pink cardigan are absolutely flying out, aren't they? Okay, what shall we move on to well, next? I'll, I'll just mention when you knit this little grey jumper. Yeah, of course. Um, <coughs> course we've got three sheep going across the front right so you would have the gray ball of wool yes you do the 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 two legs yeah. with one strand of black yarn do the gray you mm -hmm. can carry it behind the black legs have another strand of black yarn for the front legs right because you don't want to carry across the four no, stitches but you, in that, between. That is literally just enough yarn to make those two, two stitches, yes, isn't it? That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all you yeah. need. Because you've got a lot to do, yeah. so you don't want to use a bobbin for each. No. So that you go along there. Right. And then the same when you come to the white, you'd want three bobbins with the white fluffy yarn. Right. One for each sheep. Right. And I do recommend you do that because then you don't get in a mess with all your yarn tangling So do you behind. still, do you only have one grey going through, but you have three white fluffy ones? No, I'd have grey in between. Oh, okay. Right. If you were to turn that sweater over... And you mean inside, inside out? The, I think she's done it that the sheep are separate. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no... No white yarn going across. Oh yes, see what you mean. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that they, they, it stops and then yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. All this is in the pattern. It's very detailed. The pattern yeah. for you to be able to follow it. Brilliant. They're lovely. They're gorgeous. Now, I'll come back, but I don't know when I do my recap whether there'll be any of those left to actually recap. Okay. Well, you. I need to talk about the unicorn next. Hannah's saying, if that's oh, all okay. right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Only because there's not many left, that's why. So. <laughs> okay. The unicorn is a lovely one. It, yes. Um, I've seen it on Pin Interest and Ravelry, knitted so many times. 
And I think it's, it's lovely because you're using so many different coloured yarns. Yes, but, but how, do you cope with, how do you cope with all those different colours? Exactly the same way with the unicorn, if I turn it over. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so if I looked at the chart, I would have a ball of pink on the go and right. just a, a length of yellow to do the first hoof and carry, carry it behind there uh -huh. and then pink to the end yeah. and all the way until you get to the tail and it's also the same row as the second leg. Backwards. Is that on purpose? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> um, and with the tail, yeah. I haven't seen these samples but thank you all you knitters that have knitted them. This one was um, Margaret Chapman. Right. What am I looking for on the tail? On mine, I carried the pink yarn behind the purple and the lilac because it made it a raised tail oh. as, a, as a 3D effect. Right. So if I looked at the inside, what would I be looking for? Um, you would see the pink going behind the I tail. I can see pink going behind. She's done it the way I, yeah. I would do it. Well done, Margaret. Yeah, well, well done. done. Thank Margaret. you very much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and as, you, as you've done that tail, I would have the pink then to the green. Right. Um, have a bobbin of green for that back leg. Uh-huh. And then have another bobbin of pink ready for the in-between yeah. part there. A bobbin of green for the back leg, second back leg. Uh-huh. And then a bobbin of pink. And you can carry on all the way up doing that till you get to the front hooves uh -huh. and then um, it's, it's just a length of yellow yarn for that. So you only just chop off the tie and just attack because it's only a few stitches isn't it? Though? Yes that's yeah. right yes. So and again is this is this knit one but no knit? Yeah yeah oh, oh, knit and pearl. Knit and pearl. Knit and pearl that's all it is and you have to follow the, the chart obviously but yeah. um, if you photostat it and then just mark off the rows as you go, yeah. it, it's very easy to follow. Um, I need to warn you at home, there are more people got this in baskets than we've got stock of now. So please, if you do want it, you do need to check out. And I'm not adding any undue pressure, I'm just telling you because I don't want you to get sorry sold out when you get to it. Do you knit the collar as part of it or do you sew it on afterwards? Sew it on afterwards. So you make a completely separate collar yeah, yeah. and stitch uh, to the it. Tab is, uh, the tab at the front is added is knitted, picking up the stitches at the side of the neck. Oh, so that bit, that bit. Is, oh, I see, because it's going the opposite. It's going the opposite way. So you 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 knit this, and then you catch the pick up the stitches, the stitches and knit that way. The tab, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the uh, the sleeves. Obviously, it's it's utilising all those colours that I've used in the in the unicorn. Yeah, of course. For the sleeves, the stripes. But that sleeves. literally is you would just change, you're not going to have anything hanging off there, are you? You're going to literally no, no. do your green, do your yellow, do your lilac, do your purple and yeah, everything. Yeah. And then I love this attention to detail at the back here. Yes. This, um, that stripe, it's just so beautiful because <laughs> you could easily have just done a green or a pink back, couldn't you? But yeah. just adding that little bit of detail, I think, just makes so much yeah. difference. Well, I like them to be fun. The kids all enjoy wearing them. Oh, yes, totally. Yeah. And that beautiful yeah. hat as well. So there's yeah. enough in there to make both of those. Yes. Um, I'll just say on the size on that. I of think course, you said yeah. it went from four years. It actually goes from two years. Oh, OK. Two years to 12 years. Oh, sorry. That's our, that's our bad then, isn't it? Oh, yes. Two years to 12 years. Oh, I'd say. Yeah, two to 12. Two to 12. But, no, sorry about that. But um, yeah. Well, it's just in case somebody's got a little one. No, 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 no. It's a really it good idea. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. And who's that little girl? That's my granddaughter, Ellie. Oh, <laughs> she, does she model all your children's clothes? But both my grandchildren, this is Ellie and Jack. Right. He's six. Ellie's coming up for ten. That They've been doing all my modelling since they were babies. Oh. So you'll see them on the website. <laughs> <laughs> so we've not got, have we got Jack wearing it today? No, we've not only got today. Ellie wearing, so. I think, um, yeah, I, he there are lots of yes. pictures of him on the website. Pop to the website to see that. <laughs> so they, they just need to go to iNit Designs. That's the website name, is it? iNitDesigns.com. Yep. I've also got a Facebook page. Okay. Yeah. So if anybody uh, wants to show you anything, you don't mind them putting a picture on your Facebook page to oh. show you them? Um, probably wouldn't be able to put it on my Facebook okay. page, but they can email me. Okay. I've, an email address is on the website. Are you on the Yarn Lane fans page? Yes. So they yes. could put it on there yes. and tag you in it. Then it doesn't block up all your e e emails or anything like yeah. that. So if you put it on the Yarn Lane page yeah. and just uh, tag it, 
That's uh, right. Then you can. Yeah. Right, so where, which one are we going on to next? Right, then? we'll go to the... Um, Velociraptor. No, no, we, I don't know. We, I'm following you. This one, Velociraptor. Okay. <laughs> blue, the navy blue one. Yeah. The midnight one. That's I fine. didn't know about dinosaurs until I had grandchildren. <laughs> oh, is it? but it's funny how they remember the names, isn't it? Uh, it's like we have the experts used to come in and say, and they'd say, oh, yeah, my child knows every single name of every single dinosaur yeah, and everything. It's yeah, incredible. Yeah. And even little tots can say Velociraptor. Yes, well, and I have no idea. So this is a, ve this is a Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Okay. They are the ones that uh, are nasty, really. Okay. Yeah, got big teeth. <laughs> big teeth, the very sharp teeth. And I love the attention to detail on this, the little flaps on the hats. I think yeah, they're lovely. Yeah, it is gorgeous. It does you see, that would be just gorgeous. I mean, anyway. And, and also, I love the, the, the neckline on this one as well. It's got a very political shot. Really cute little like turtle neckline with all the the change of colours there, and then again yeah. on the cuffs. I think just I think what it is is the attention to detail that you put into it. I think they're absolutely adorable. So now, if you if you had a child that one child that loved this with a dinosaur, and then the other one was like, I don't want the Velociraptor on mine. You could just literally yeah, knit yeah. the whole of that blue, couldn't you? And then still do the blue on the cuffs and the because yeah. it make a beautiful jumper. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's it? Because yeah. how old does this one go to? Maybe they might not want one by the time they're 13. 13, they? you know well, maybe. Mean? Yeah, no. Who right. knows? Who knows? Right, so what are we <laughs> going to show on this one? Well, I'm going to show you the, the ribbing, right, which, okay. which you've highlighted. So, yes, uh, so you're doing yours in a different colour way to this I one. I am, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, um, so um, it doesn't really matter. But yeah. uh, So the trick with this one, and I do put it in the pattern, is on the very first row when you're knitting the um, rib, knit in um knit two two in one color knit two in the, the contrast color two in the main color two in the in the contrast all the way along it, it sounds a bit weird because you're doing a rib right and you're doing a knit row yeah but what that avoids is the bar that can come across which spoils the effect oh okay so i think knitters will understand what i'm saying okay if, if they've done this um, so that is in the in the pattern, and then you, on on the reverse, you are doing uh, oh. knit, knit pearl, knit pearl, knit pearl, and carrying the yarn across. How weird! It looks very different on the back. It, it does, doesn't yeah. it? You wouldn't want to uh, no. make a mistake and put put the wrong side on. So I'll just show you um, how to do that. Uh -huh. So it's uh, knit two, and then the contrast colour. And again, make sure that you wrap the yarn, catch the, the, the non-working yeah. Yeah, non yarn um, inside. Oh, oh, sorry. So you've, you've caught the non, non in the inside. Right, I've got it. Yeah, so, yeah got it. So it's so that a, a, a hole doesn't. Yeah, that, um, yeah. So I've trapped that in and then purl two. And then it has to go to the back because you want all the floats to go on the back. Yeah. And then I'm going to do two knits. So now you've not got your yarn on little fishies for this one, have you? You've got the, you've got complete balls for this one. Yes, I would have. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. A, it's Nothing on the end of yours. <laughs> no, but you wouldn't have them on the little fishies this time. No. You'd have both balls because you're going to carry on yes, up the whole jumper. Aren't yeah, because they're travelling along, and this yeah. is just just for the uh, rib. So yeah, I think you'll probably get the idea of that. So. That's all that is. Yeah. So that's on the rib of the fronts and backs, sleeves, okay. and the neckline, and also the hat. Yes. So, but the, now the neck, is it, it's because it, um, I know nothing about knitting, <laughs> but how do you get that lovely kind of, it's sort of like a little turtleneck, like fitted, like it, is it you de decreasing in stitches or no, something? No, it is the tension of the yarn pulls it in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so that's just that you've carried on the same yeah, knitting. Yeah, nothing very special there. It's just carried it on. And then when you get to your thing, Velociraptus. <laughs> right, so this one, um, I've, I've done his legs. Right. It could be a lady, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did they lay eggs or did they have babies? Oh, they did lay eggs, lay apparently. Eggs, I think, yeah. They're what? Sorry. Oh, they're lizards. Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> right. She obviously knows. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Okay, okay. So. So looking at the chart for this one, I would have the ball of yarn for the background colour. Yeah. Um, a bobbin for one leg. Yes. A bobbin for the space in between the legs. Mm -hmm. Another bobbin for the second leg. 
and a bobbin for the... Oh, one, that's a ball. One, two, three, four bobbins. Yeah, which is here. Okay. It sounds worse than it, than it is. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have it. Right. Yep. Right, you have. So I am about to knit row 11. Right. Um, so again, I just... Oh, yeah. It has to be a long knit in because his head comes over quite a bit. You have to do what, sorry? Well, I've, I'm knitting a lot of stitches, but if I was to knit the Velociraptor, I would need these stitches because the head... Oh, the head goes, yes, goes, I see what you mean, yeah. ...goes into the, the, that area. So I'm looking at row 11, and it is actually the same as the row below. So that makes that easy. Right. Oh, on the chart, all the, I was going to say, oh, you'd have to count them, but all the, on the chart, all the rows are numbered at both ends and at the bottom and everything. So you're never going to get lost about which rows you're on. No. So I've come to the blue bobbin now, and again, you need to catch it in. So just cross them over. Uh-huh. And then do the three stitches for row 11 of the leg. And again, I'm changing to the main yarn in between the legs. I'll knit that. Now on this one, I can see that I've got one extra stitch to the left. Okay, can I just ask you to move to your right just a tiny bit because we've just gone underneath the... That's it, so perfect, sorry. thank you. So it, it is just knit, knit and pull. Yeah. And so I've come to where I know that I need a blue stitch yeah. rather than a cream stitch here. And I've swapped them over again, mm -hmm. and I'm doing one, two, four of those. That's right, and I can always check. Yeah, yeah, so you did three on the right-hand leg and four, and four on the left-hand yeah. leg, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to knit over this blue one uh -huh. as it needs to be a background colour. And that's all it is. Amanda says, what happens if you run out of yarn on your bobbin? Hope this isn't a silly question. No. Amanda, no question's a silly question. No. If you think you are running out of yarn, try and have enough just to get to a changeover point. Of changeover colour? Uh, yeah. Of colour. Yeah. And then you can drop that, uh, that bobbin, that, uh, which is effectively nearly empty, yeah. load up another bobbin, or the same bobbin, with some more yarn, yeah. and carry on. Oh, OK. Yeah. So you I have mean, to knock the, the, you know, knock the yarn? No, I, I like don't that. knot. I mean, it will mean you will have an extra end. And to, what do you do with those ends then when you Right, finish? okay, I've got a needle here. Oh, okay, oh, sorry, no, I was just, I was just uh, don't know. So when you get to, when you get, because obviously when you finish it, you are going to have ends of all the different colours, aren't you? Yeah, they? you can weave in as you are knitting, and I would probably knit in with the sheep. Right. The, the, uh, the fluffy yarn, I would weave it. As I knit along, I'd catch it every second. So you'd cut it, when you finished it, you'd cut off with a, with a bit of a tail and then yes. knit that tail into yeah. the pink stitches as you're going along. Uh, well, with the white, I'd be knitting it in with the white yeah. stitches. Oh, in with white stitches, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, what are you saying, Hannah? Oh yeah, wool needles. I've got wool needles, but ours are a little bit different to yours. Ours have got the little um, elastic, um, the little loop of silicon at the bottom. That's okay. fine. It's the same thing. Isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. just easier yeah, to thread. Just, yeah. just a there they are. There's ours. A big eyed needle. Yeah. yeah. So um, with darning in ends, um, there won't be that many mm -hmm. because you're using all the bobbins as you're knitting. Yes. The dinosaur. So it's at the beginning. So if you can't weave it in, and I, I left this one uh, so I can show you. In the direction that the stitch is, um, you, you want to go up with it. So obviously the stitch was going up. So yeah. I'm going to sew it upwards, and that means it pulls the stitch okay. to its correct shape. Yeah. And just go along the edge of the dinosaur, okay. uh, do a bit of back stitching. I like to go through the, the, uh, the threads of a of the yarn because I know that that will make it very secure yeah. and it won't uh, come under. Yeah. So up one way, down again. And it's done, it's Brilliant. secure. Thank you. Very quick. And then it can be cut off. 
Brilliant. Is there anything else you want to talk about Velociraptor? Um, no, I think, think that's... I'm asking the Velociraptor then. <laughs> and that's for four to 13 years. That four one. to 13 year olds, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I, I'll, go, I'll, I'll recap all the kits at the end because we've just got a few minutes left. Uh, right, so now we need to move on to tri Triceratops. That's the one. <laughs> oh, this has got a hood on it. Oh, this is, I didn't even notice the hood. This is the one Hannah would have. What size has this got up to? It goes up to 12. 12. 2 to 12, this one. Yeah. So the one you have um, in front of you, I think maybe the 4 to 6 years. Oh, is, I wouldn't know. Is that 4 um, to 6 years? I, also, it's got raglan sleeves, which we haven't yeah. had, have we? And this one I have in front of me is the 8 to 10 years. Oh, OK. And that fitted my 10-year-old. Yeah, it wouldn't grandma. fit Hannah, though, would it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's being polite. <laughs> well, Hannah. <laughs> Um, so this one's different because it's got raglan sleeves and it's got a hood on it. So that, that does that make it more difficult or no, not just different? Dif just different. Okay, perfect. Different. I'll go you through go through all the yeah, techniques. Yeah. Um, so it's a, a two knit two pearl rib. Right. And then I give you the number of rows to knit before you start the the dinosaur, and this is so that the placement is in the correct place. Right. Um, is it in a different it, place on each side? Yes, it will be. Yes, because you, you want it to be on yeah. prominent on the front, yeah. not, not down at the bottom. So it, the same as I demonstrated that with the other dinosaur, you will have bobbins. Well, have the ball of yarn for the grey, yeah. a bobbin blue, a bobbin grey, a bobbin blue, blue grey. a bobbin grey. Oh, now what? Now, now we turn into what? What do we do there? Because uh, I think you just have one length, little length for those two. You're right. You <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, because you wouldn't want a bobbin no. just for two stitches, would you? No, no. So, yes. So, if I turn it on yeah, the back, yeah. you'll be able to see that um, it's quite neat on the back. No, no loops for people okay. to catch fingers. But, yes. Can you just move it to your right? Sorry. Y you there you were, go. You were correct. I have carried across because there were very few stitches yes. on those back legs. Um, but the same principle as the Velociraptor. Once you get past the, the legs, there's a whole block that you yes, can knit yes, yeah. that, that is very easy knitting. And then for the, um, for the muscle structure, I guess, of the legs. I <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Muscle structure. <laughs> Um, I used a uh, just a length of grey. Yes, yeah. Because it's only the odd. Up. It's only the odd stitch, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Yes. Perfect. Um, so now, with raglan sleeves, would you still knit two sleeves together? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Yes. And yes. is it a case of? Uh, I'm, I'm talking. I could be talking rubbish. Do you start at the cuff or do you start at the top? I s well, th this one you would start at the cuff. Okay. Like the instructions are, but I mean. Lots of people start from the top and knit down, Work but down. this one is a start at the cuff. So you, you you do your, your rib, then you just knit straight up the to the end of the grey, yeah, but then yeah. you then have to start decreasing, I imagine, then to make yeah. the shape of the raglan sleeve. You're increasing all the way up. Oh, oh, okay. To the armhole, and that's why it's useful to do two at the same time because you are getting them exactly correct. Exactly, yeah. And then change to the blue. Yeah. We decrease uh, a few stitches just for the armhole. And then I think it was every fourth row, uh, knit one, slip one, knit one, pass, slip stitch over for the right-hand side, and then knit to the last three stitches, knit two together, knit one. That's all okay, so, so people who knit will understand that yeah. that's a regular thing yeah. they do. And then do you stitch the sleeves in afterwards or do they get knitted in? No, they're stitched in. Stitched in. I so use using the stitch. using the and what stitch would you use? Sorry, Ma mattress stitch. A what? A mattress stitch. Mattress stitch. So it, it's a really good. I use it all the time. Yeah. I don't. I don't use anything else. So you place the two pieces together. Right. And you you take with th the right sides up, up on together, both of yeah. them. Yeah. And then um, take a needle and pass it through one one side yeah. to the other side and keep going 
all okay. the way down. Because I've never heard, of, I hadn't heard of match a stitch yeah. before. Yeah. And that means it's facing you, so you can match and get that nice ridge. Oh, uh, because when you're sewing, sewing, obviously you do right sides together, so and then check right. that you've done it right after. Yeah. So this way you have both right sides facing, facing you, and you, stitch through it. That's and right. also it gives you that kind of lovely edge effect to it. It doesn't yes. look like a seam, does it? It looks no, like you've right. kind of almost finished one, start the other, and then create a lovely thing. Yeah. And then now knitting a hood, is right. that difficult? No, 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 it isn't. Um, it's knitted separately. Right. So I start with the blue of the rib. Right. So if you think I'm knitting like that. Yeah. So I knit up to where it tells you to stop. Right. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then um, we're, we're doing it in two pieces from here. Right. So um, I shape this end here, the, the point. If you don't shape it there, you get a very pointed Right. Pointed, pointy, uh, pointy, hood, yeah. which yeah. isn't good. So uh, I've I've curved it round and and, uh, and then cast off. Brilliant. On both. So you end up with a, a big piece. Right, you have. And so in the pattern, I, I will tell you that place the blue ribbing centre front. Right. Um, the short side, and then pin the back seam to the back of the jumper. So you see the seam that's going up the back of the head, that's stitched as well, was it, or was that knitted? Um, that is uh, stitched. Stitched, okay, perfect. Mattress stitch again. Yeah. So if you pin it round, yeah. and then use mattress stitch to sew it to the jumper. Oh, okay. And then again, you get this very neat finish all the way round, because you can see what you're doing. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. That's Fantastic, it. that's <laughs> lovely. Righty ho, let's do a bit of a recap then, see what we've got. We can um, start with dinosaurs. So should we start with the one we've got on the table then? Triceratops, a third of the stock has gone. And in that one, you get one, two, three, four balls of the silver and two balls of the glasses. There they are. Cornish blue, plus your pattern goes from a two to a 12 year old and uh, you get all the written instructions obviously there and you also get the chart on the back there with all the numbers of the rows and everything in there it's, it's incredibly thorough isn't it you see that I'd, I'd feel confident having that because I don't know about knitting I'd look at that and panic a little bit yeah, but I that one people do, yeah. I can actually <laughs> see on row one I need this many yeah. and that many so it's That's fantastic right. thing yeah. it's got a big smile on his face did they have a pointy nose? Did they have a horn on the end of their nose then? Yes, they do, yes. This, this one is very fancy. It's got yeah. lots of ears and horns. <laughs> right, okay, so that one's that one. And I've, uh, how much did they say? Say, quarter of the stock of that one's gone. Third of the stock of that one's gone. Third of the stock of that one's gone. Okay, let's move on to the... Yeah, yo, native dogs, they're in two places. So there's the finished thing there. So in this one, you get the pattern. You get one, two... Three, four, five midnights and one aster. Half the stock of this one is gone. Remember, this one goes from ages four to 13. Four to 13. Uh, yeah. And then all the information needs on the front here. Actual measurements, full length, sleeve length, which you can adjust. Oh, that was, that was what I was going to say. So if you've got a child that's got longer or shorter arms, I think, is it quite easy to adapt it? To yeah, that? you just keep on knitting after the shaping. Yeah. Okay, perfect, lovely. So that's that one, and then uh, that one is seventeen ninety nine. That's right. No, no, it's fine. It's it's absolutely fine. Right, so move that one there. Unicorn. There are six unicorns not checked out. I dread to think how many are in baskets. Oh, okay. So there's eight in baskets, and there are six left. So please, I mean, please be careful because what lots of people do on Yarn Lane is they watch and then they check out at the end. So there'll be a sudden, when we go for our lunch in a minute, there's always a flurry of checking out on Yarn Lane. So please be careful. This is beautiful though, isn't it? Now this one, you get load. You, you must have some of this left over, surely. Yeah, you certainly do, yes. Because if you think that colour there is hardly used, you know what I mean? It's only on little no. bits there. You can change the main colour and yeah. you know, away you go again. Okay, so you mm. get one ball of the saffron, you get three balls of the fondant, you get one of the wisteria, you get three of the 
Aspen, and you get one, I think it was just called Purple, isn't it? One? All the others got like nice posh names, haven't they? That one's Purple. I do need to warn you, though, that both of the uh, cheap ones sold out. Completely and utterly sold out, the cheap ones. Right, and they, oh, oh I'm, I'm a little fish of sold out. I'll go through my knitting needles now with you, so let me just put that one to one side. I can do whatever you want, Hannah. That sounded really patronised. I didn't mean it to be. Wool needles first. There we go. There we go. There you go. So these are 1.99 set of three wool needles. Always very, very popular, those. Right, now, where shall I go next, then? Four millimetre knitting needles. Trying to fit them into the screen. There you go. Three ninety nine. We always have these separate from our kits because we think a lot of you will obviously already have your knitting needles. And you want to have to pay for another pair. You don't need hundreds and hundreds of knitting needles, do you, at home? So that's your four millimeter. I've got three point two five for your ribbing. For your ribbing, that's right. What's name for the ribbing? Three point two five. Yeah. 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 Three ninety nine. Now, why have I got some 5mm ones here? Have any of these 5mm? Yeah, the, um, they're Aran, for the Aran one. Oh, for the Aran one, you need Which your 5mm. Yeah, both the dinosaurs are Aran. Now, they seem extraordinarily long compared to all the others. Look, is that because your, your yarn's thicker? Was it just they've made you, them a bit longer? You can thing? get them in all sorts of oh, different okay. lengths. Oh, okay. They're rather lovely, though, aren't they? 5mm ones, those, for 3 99 uh, Knit Pro, Zing, very good brand. We do, the, uh, we do um, Zing in the crochet as well, don't we? Right, now I've also got Zing 3.25. Now this is, um, what's, the, what's the posh word for these? The bobbins. The, no, the um, knitting needles have got wire in between them. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I've never used them. Let's see before. what we've called them. Just called circular, are they? Zing knitting pin circular. Okay. Oh, right, and they're fixed, so you can't unscrew the end of these. That's it. That You can't put a longer wire on with those. Oh, I they're see. 40 yeah. centimetres. The knitting needles, yeah. 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 Brilliant. And then last but not least, we've got stitch holders. Now, would we use stitch holders on any of these jumpers? Uh, no, no, it's not, no. not necessary on these. Um, maybe maybe the dark blue one you, you would pick Okay, but they're not necessary. So, I mean, we'll, we'll show them anyway because you might need them for some other project. But, um, oh, you know, we're not. There you go, 2 .99. Aluminium stitch holders. Because lots of the designers do use those, don't they? Um, thank you ever so much. That was fascinating. That was lovely. And you've had another almost sellout show. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, we'll see you again, no doubt. Uh, now, when's Jarn Lane on next? Monday with Rebecca Reed on the 24th. And S Sock Selection, Winnick Mum. Winnick Mum. Okay, brilliant. So I'm going to go. I'm on Sang Street tomorrow. Uh, so I'll see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thank you for your company today. And uh, we'll see you all very, very soon. Keep watching for lots of knitting and crochet on Yarn Lane. You don't need to change channels. Pop the kettle on and meet us back here in a couple of minutes. You can also watch on the Yarn Lane YouTube channel and Facebook Live. To get a sneaky peek of the products featured on the show and shop, please go to the Yarn Lane website at www.yarnlane.com or via our UK call centre on 0800 4 700 600. And remember, if you've already shopped with Sewing Street today, you won't pay any more postage and packaging for shopping with Yarn Lane because it's 1 p.m.p. across both channels all day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. 